So I wanna talk about the sodium potassium ratios that we need. Typically a person thinks of sodium being dangerous to the heart, blood pressure, and can even increase the risk of getting a stroke. But the question is, is it the higher amount of sodium or is it the deficiency of potassium? Now I'm gonna put some links down below that talk about potassium being protective against strokes, the kidney, the heart, and potassium actually lowering blood pressure. So what's even more important than these two minerals is the ratio they come in. Normally you would need 4,700 milligrams for potassium and 2,300 for sodium. And an average person has them flipped and that's what's gonna put them in trouble. So ideally you would need two to one, but if there's already an imbalance or you have a problem with the heart or blood pressure, I would raise potassium three to one or even a four to one ratio but it does take a period of time to correct this. It could take months or even a couple years. But the more sodium that you have in the diet, the lower the potassium. So they kind of work in opposites. Now, what's interesting is one ounce of bread contains 210 milligrams of sodium. Two tablespoons of salad dressing at the grocery store can give you over 500 milligrams of sodium. Six ounces of pizza that's actually one slice, is almost 1,000 milligrams of sodium right there. Eight ounces of V8 will give you over 1,000 milligrams. And one little can of tomato soup is 1,260 milligrams of sodium. That's a tremendous amount of sodium with the carbohydrates, okay? So not only do we have more sodium, we have more carbs and the carb depletes potassium. Plus the sodium they use in carbohydrates are not in the form of sea salt, it's in the form of sodium chloride. So you don't have all the other minerals involved. Sea salt has 84 minerals, table salt has two. These foods usually have MSG, monosodium glutamate, which is additional sodium that they don't factor into the label there. So in America, we're really heavy on the sodium, the carbs, and very low on potassium. So this is the perfect chemistry to set someone up for high blood pressure and eventual cardiovascular problems. So the point of this video is to understand that these ratios of potassium to sodium are more important than these minerals individually. As long as you're doing a two to one ratio, you're gonna be good. And if you wanna correct it, go up to a three to four to one ratio and that'll work even faster. If you're the person that doesn't have a lot of potassium in the diet, you don't like vegetables, well, you just better make sure that your sodium is very, very low as well. So you can keep these ratios in check. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications.